uh, to the countries of destination. So, and this is uh, a real problem, so because we have, of course, uh, uh, a restriction imposed by... There was a lot of international publicity about um, Russia giving uh, Belarus um, missiles to be stationed there. Have, have they been installed yet, some of them, any of them? Uh, so this uh, is an ongoing process and it's a legitimate uh, issue which uh, was uh, a response to the very big militarization of the neighboring countries because what we are witnessing now on our western borders is uh, a very high level of uh, military presence. Are actually any of these missiles on Belarus territory? As I understand, yes. Could you imagine a situation in which Moscow could order your government to use these missiles? I don't see such an option because uh, it is an instrument of defense primarily. So, but if our country will be invaded, I would not exclude any instrument to be used to defend sovereignty and territorial integrity of our country. So it goes in line with the international law. It does not violate any um, non-proliferation treaty uh, provisions. And uh, so we will just simply uh, keep it as a absolutely clearly defense instrument. So Belarus is a very peaceful country. It is peaceful by nature. It is peaceful by history. Could you see a situation in which your country could enter the war in Ukraine alongside Russia? My answer is no. Business. And uh, there have been a lot of complaints about... We don't have any political prisoners. That's point number one. So point number two is so that all the people who are detained, they are detained for concrete criminal charges which are being proved in the courts and uh, so that is it. Are, are any kind of demonstrations still allowed in the country? So uh, there is a law and if people want to have something, there are no restrictions on it. So, but everything should be organized within the framework of our uh, legal system. <laughs> okay, may, may, may I have to run really soon Thank because, because, because I was told that there will be three, four questions, so we had a lot more with you. Yeah. <laughs> so.